at this point we've been traveling quite a bit. We've been train hopping and bouncing around a little bit. So we decided to take a little bit of a nature retreat. There's Metro Day on, a few trains to go. station in Hakone. I'm a bit sleepy and tired. We've done four trains so we're just waiting now with our coffee to get checked in. The combination was called Hakone Yutoa and that was probably encouraging us to have that lazy experience as we just wandered around. They had this gorgeous library area and this lovely little terrace with a foot spa. Got a nice big wide window. The next thing we're up quite early as we plan to head out to Lake Ashi. A bit overly tired today, but it's where it starts. He wasn't sure if he'd need his raincoat, but I think he needs his raincoat. Here he is. <laughs> He's got it. It's our first rain and I think we appreciate him cooling off. Now it's started raining, it's time to explore. Trying to make our way to Lake Ashi. We ascend, we descend, and we eventually reach our destination, Lake Ashi. Is urgently required. I'm a bit late with this really but hey. There's this lovely sign here. Um, we have some peddlers behind it but the thing that made me chuckle was the one with the top hat. So didn't take long before we stopped off for coffee but now we're on a little trail. Marine is on and off but it's keeping us nice and cool. Starting to get accosted by mosquitoes, but I've entered a very nice wooded area. Does it feel like that tree's about to cave, out, cave in on you? I feel like there should be four hobbits hidden underneath it. Yeah, and a death rider thing behind it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Our little retreat comes to an end far too quickly. As we head back over to Tokyo, we're staying in Shinjuku. Our first day wandering around, we found ourselves in the Kabuchiko building, which is really exciting to walk around to see all these big flashing lights and the arcades and endless food. Here we 
got to have okonomiyaki, uh, which is the second time we'd had it on this trip and it's definitely one of my favourite favorite eats in Japan. We've already made ourselves at home in this one. Too bad at the minute, but there are typhoon warnings today, which means the views are terrible. But not only that, unfortunately, it's not a day to go to the beach in Kamakura, so instead, it's a hotel day. So we've been out and we had a little bit of breakfast, then we had a breakdown and we spent all of our money on snacks. <laughs> and we're just gonna cast the TV or try to do whatever we can do to ent entertain ourselves. On a I don't know if I need all this for one day, but here we are. I can't even see the tops of the buildings for all the fog. The last day, thankfully the weather cleared up because we could actually explore a little bit more of Tokyo. Sadly, our trip is over and I'm still a little bit gutted. <laughs> I really want to go back, um, but there's lots more of the world to see, so hopefully we'll have something else on the card soon. 